This yeah, is the first it's... super big tournament. Well, I mean, this is the first major, major in terms of rivals standard uh, of like rivals numbers. But yeah. this is the first major offline that um, the workshop. I think it's for... even the first major in general. Like, I can't really think of like even RRM. We had our banned. right because yeah, they were banned in RRM. Um, but either way, I mean, right now, Dinos is kind of making the wa the matchup look very easy for uh, for Claren. Dinos, fairly aggressive oh. player with a really good punish game. So when he's in, he's going to deal a lot of damage. Yeah, Dinos, a super, super solid player. That almost killed, and I'm mad it didn't. <laughs> oh, almost gets the kill to Dash Attack. This is kind of hard. You always have to be watching out for that sparkler. It is such a good zoning tool. It's really good. It's like deceptively good. It's it's, it's just better bubbles. It it's just of, better bubbles. Honestly, yeah. Because but like when you parry them, he doesn't get put into he doesn't, stun. He doesn't get put into any stun, let alone extended stun. Yeah. That's what we're seeing again. Like just drifting back, holding the like blowing the bomb with the bat. That's that's the other thing is um. Uh, okay. Yeah, that up strong, thankfully getting nerfed. That 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 that, uh, that down me, so smart. Yeah, and that is kind of chilling in the corner, taking his time, enjoying the no fun zone while he can mm, dies yep. as soon yeah. as it goes away. And yeah, this is tricky. Malo can be really hard to catch for Claren at times. Um, ooh. Oh, wow, that's really good. That was so good. Getting the air up strong. I think the tricky thing with Claren against a lot of projectile users is um, when she's in the air, it's really hard for her to actually beat up projectile. She's good at it on the ground because she has like some of the best shit points in the game. Yeah. So like she's... you can kind of just like jab away bombs, but when you're in the air, you can't Ooh, do that's that. Fair. When you get thrown off stage, yeah, there's only so much room you have to drift. Uh, my uh, my uh, my like my jaw was completely down because it like. When Claren is on the edge, when Dino specifically is on the edge and like landing all of these tippers, it's just so scary. Yeah. <laughs> all right. This is the F strong. This yeah. is starting to look scary for Dinos. Dinos has just been staying back. I'm kind of surprised about that. That Ooh, back hit back box is so scary. Back bot. But here we go. Zora going to be okay. thrown off stage. Yeah, good DI. Good DI from Zora. Yeah, and it's hard because. Mala recovery. Mala has so many options for recovering. And again, the character being so new, like that dare, that's a terrifying angle. It's super scary. Yeah, that dare is like one of the best in the game. Yeah. It's, it, oh ooh. my god. Finds the fair, takes game one. Zora TK looking really good right now. Yeah, Zora has been. Zora has been super solid this year. Yeah, turn. and I mean, like. Do we know who he lost to? Um. If I had to guess, uh, it was probably either MSB probably or SDS. No, it's Akashi. Oh yeah, it was Akashi. Akashi. Right, he got the reversal yo. Yeah. Forgot about that. What was I gonna say? Um, yeah, like Dinos has been looking so strong. I guess it's not this season, the last season. Mm -hmm. Really, like I mean, obviously he was top fifty before, but like, he's been making. He has really become like a contender for top ten. It's kind oh, of. No, been, I think he's straight up top ten. I don't. Kind of I don't have like, the. Uh, I don't have the esports master list, but mm -hmm. um. Nobody knows yet, but a lot of people are thinking that Dinos is going to be top 10 this season. And Sora already showing his Molo can contend with a player of that caliber. Definitely. It's really impressive. Yeah, there again, that bat, so, that bat with, um, yeah, go ahead. Like One of the scary things about Sparklers, as far as I'm aware, you can control where it goes. And what really makes it zoning scary is it has such a sharp angle. So you can kind of react to, like, as you're swinging the bat, you can react to how your opponent's moving and then use that to decide where exactly you're going to zone and then make it more likely to hit them. Yeah, no, it's, it's insane. It's so versatile. And the reward is pretty big, honestly. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's basically like you get trapped in Orcane Bubbles. Yeah. Good parry! Huge parry, not able to uh, ball jump in time. That's, like, that's one of the tough things about Malo is, I mean, that side B is super punishable. It's a it really, is. really good tool. Really, really good, uh, good no fun zone there. That down B. Yeah, and Dinos just trying to push this advantage to the other side of the stage. So the no fun Ooh, zone. that doesn't work anymore. Ooh, here we go. We got the fairs. Yeah. And it's hard. It's so easy to just like run into one of those tiny little bits of uh, you know the whatever it is Molo flies with. Super low wing. Ooh. 
I think I think those are also sparklers. Probably. Oh, yeah. that there. Yeah, looking so good this game. The Trapple Pond pick. Yeah. I no, mean, Trapple is super solid for Claren. Yeah, it makes saw, sense. Like versus SBS, it wasn't working out too hot, but right here, Zora is just not <gasps> ready. There's uh, you Zora have so, is so many. Not ready. Uh, you have so many movement options on the stage, as really any of the fire characters, but especially like Okay. Claren. Yep, getting that F strong. Keeping it even, or I mean, not keeping it even, but keeping it a set. Just able to there. sit there and, and stand while that bomb is cooking. That's crazy. There's, there is a stock on the board. Mala does have some ways to really quickly take stocks. But. Oh, no, yeah. He definitely can. But, I mean, Molo is pretty tough to take stocks with. He has trouble killing if you don't have... Or, I mean, if Ooh. your opponent has the read. Good. Oh, no. Just like that. Holding the sparklers that was, and... That was an insane upbeat. That's one of the scariest things as Molo is if you can find a way to I put him in a long combo. I absolutely love doing is, that to Molo. It is really hard to actually find the moves that let you make a combo run that long. But when you do, oh, boy. It's, it's uh, really satisfying. It's a thing. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Yeah. Going to see. Yeah. No, the high dive hideaway counter pick. That's really interesting. You know I what? Can, I can see it. I guess that probably means Zora wants to like scrap a little bit more. If you're going to a smaller stage like this, you just got to be careful of uh, making sure that you're able to not get scared of those disjoints covering such a big percentage of the stage. Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. Like, good parry. Oh. Oh boy. One of the things about Malo specifically is like he is insane zoning, but he also has like I don't know top two buttons in the game. Would you say he has really good buttons? He has some really good normals. Yeah, extremely good normals and just good way, good triangle dash through the F strong. That was so smart on Dinos. Yeah, seriously. So we're going a little bit deep. Doesn't read the jump. Okay. Get running in. Upstrong? Yep, gets the up strong. This is looking really good for Zero. Extremely honestly. solid play. <gasps> Not killing. Yeah, they nerfed that. Yeah. Oh, that'll kill though. Mm -hmm. 130. Yeah, big move. Ball does have a few normals that are a little on the inconsistent side, but Zorba is just really good at positioning them and make sure that doesn't happen. Definitely, definitely. You kind of see a lot of low-level Molos like, often drop <gasps> their up strongs and up airs, but I've seen almost none of that from Zora this whole tournament. Yeah. Big swing. That bonk hitbox is so funny. I, I love, I absolutely love just bonking people with uh, with the bombs. That's what I, <laughs> yeah. stream, I'm sorry, I have a stutter. It's not my it's, fault. It's hard, I mean, like, especially <gasps> as the opponent. Going so deep. It can be really rough sometimes to try to approach and then just kind of get tagged with that bomb and just flinch that tiny bit and have it, your entire approach messed yeah, up. Yeah, it can be. Like, Mala holding a bomb can be as scary as Crag holding a rock. Crag holding a rock is like one of the Probably best positions. Scarier. Yeah, actually, like honestly, like way scary. He has a, he has a lot more options than Crag does, and it's less punishable. For sure, Dan. Crag has so many op. Like Crag, uh, he's kind of limited actually in his options. He's holding a rock. The options he has are good, but Mala just has everything pretty much. Yeah, Mala kind of just has everything, and like it makes games like this really, really scary. For sure. Using that up B, it's kind of interesting that I feel like good we're parry. Seeing, yeah, good parry, but unfortunately that's oh, a projectile. The chipper? Not not yeah, the, living uh, not dying yet. The strongest Zora with move, the insane not DI. quite strong enough here, but the down strong All insane. Right. Doing that on plats is real I'm mean, Binance well, uses a strong stick. But it can be hard to get that positioning on plats. I guess missing a plat drop there. Good there. good stuff, keeping it even. Yeah, it is extremely even right now. This whole this set as a whole has been that fair. That up air, I mean, one of the moves hits the uh, hits the bat the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Many no, it wasn't. He was drifting back. <gasps> All right, Dare? Oh no. Yeah, this stage has a really really high floor, so it is super easy to just die to spikes, and this goes for both sides. Uh, there's a lot of ways that Claire can just confirm into that uh, down air and kill super early, but Malo can do the same thing, and he has fair on uh, on top of that. Yeah, it's just like, it's so neck and neck right now. Ooh. Any hit can be this. This could be it. This is scary. With that recovery, great stalling. This is going to be really hard. I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, 
not going for another down strong. I thought that was going to be it. But it could have been. Oh, no, that fair? That might. He's living? Okay. Yeah, he's alive, but it's. Oh, no. Whiffs the Estrong. Doesn't space it correctly. Yeah. That's it. And oh, my God. Huge, Dinos. Huge up that shot from Dinos. Steven popping off. Yeah, Torque popping off. Julie popping off. All of AZ plus Torque. Yeah, huge pop up from the crowd right there. Just saw like a half a dozen people literally jump out of their seats. Straight out. Straight out. Dinos, got to be feeling good about that one. Salvaging the game here. Yeah, Ending seriously. Ending up on Frozen Fortress. This is scary. Uh, Claren kind of has a bit of a problem, particularly in uh, like best of five where you have three bans. Yeah. Where she kind of has like four stages you really want to ban. Oh, yeah. So you're always leaving that one stage that is super good for the opponent on pr in pretty much any situation. Uh, and in this case, it was Frozen Fortress. Yeah. I personally consider it the least of those four evils, but there are people who disagree, and I understand why. I just think Claren benefits from the plats more on this stage compared to the other stages. Yeah, it, it's, it's a very, very solid stage for her. I mean, well, to be fair, Trapple is be already worse. gone. Trapple is already gone. Well, That's DSR. Keep in mind, this was Zora's uh, counter pick. Right? That's so this, true. This is a good counter pick from Zora. It's just kind of tricky. Because um, his first ban, I think, like, if Zora wins this and asks him to make another stage pick. Yep. Ooh. Gets that fair up strong. And yeah, they're just playing neutral. Yeah, I mean. I mean, uh, Dinos doesn't have any any prerogative to approach. It's all yeah. on uh, it's all on Zora right now. And like Claren has a good plot movement, so like if you can get a lead, you can definitely use these plots to your advantage, as you can on a lot of stages. By the um, way, he's not pulling bombs. Zora is not pulling I any bombs. I didn't actually realize that, but you're he's right. Just he's just playing isn't. buttons. There's a button. Okay, yeah. There's, or there's a bomb. A bomb. But, but yeah, I kind of wonder what the reasoning for that is. Why he's kind of done like doing I, too much zoning. He might just kind of be playing arcane. He's like, all right, I'm getting punished for these bomb pulls. I'm gonna play arcane now. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, jumping away from that. Not really much you can do when the Claren jumps there. You just have to find another option altogether. Ooh, I like the attempt there yeah. to cover the tech. Waste that air dodge. It's going to be a really tough tough recovery. Ooh. Tech's in place. Too early on the down strong. That might have whiffed anyway. This is looking really good for Dinos, but it's scary. Malo, we've Ooh. seen some insane tricks from Zora so far. Good parry on that bomb. They did add the uh, the bomb indicator in the uh, in the lower. You know, I actually thingy. I forgot about that until I watched. Actually, maybe it was while I was playing Zora in bracket. That might have been when I noticed it again. Yeah, they like it because before, if uh, Malo upbeat and in the blast zone and was holding a bomb, you couldn't even tell like what bomb it was or I, if he was holding a bomb. I still thought that was the case, honestly. But it is good to have an indicator, even if it's a little small. Yeah, not All really right. much more you can do. Dinos is up a stock. Yeah. He just can kind of sit this out. It yeah, looks I like mean, he's recognized that Zora isn't really pulling any bombs and isn't using that zoning. Maybe yeah, he's I mean, scared of the uh, of the side view parry. Scrappy characters can still do a number on Claren, but Definitely. she is really good at just at using that distance. I mean, that is what she's all about. She's oh, like <gasps> this. <gasps> oh, no. No, and the Oh, my shake. God. That's a heartbreaking.